Hi, this is Jeff, and I'd like to thank you for your support of the Arduino Learning Board project. The best place for information is the website, arduinolearningboard.com, where you can participate in the forums or send me an email. In this video, I'll be walking you through Lesson 4, the Arduino Serial Port. So we'll start by clicking Lessons. This is where all of the lessons for all of the sensors can be found. And we're going to select Lesson 4, Arduino Serial Port. Now this lesson is a little different. Typically the lessons will include a graphical diagram of exactly how to hook up the parts or the sensors that we're working with, along with a photo of what the assembled circuit looks like. In this case, all we're really experimenting with is the Arduino itself. So there are no wiring, there is no wiring, there are no parts, um, so just the USB cable. So let's start by plugging in our Arduino learning board to our computer. And when you apply power, your computer may make a short beep, letting you know that a new device has been connected, and the power light on the Arduino itself will light up. All lessons will follow a similar pattern. There's example sketches, and if you click these, it'll open on the CodeBender website, um, but you can just as easily stay completely within the Arduino Learning Board website by clicking here. So this first one, in this case, there's two different sets of sample programs. Some will have one, some will have two, some maybe have more. So just by clicking this, we can view the sample code for, I called ALB Serial 1, our first serial port example. As you can see, and a lot of programs will follow the same pattern, anything that starts with a slash star and then ends with a star slash is called a comment and it's represented in green so you know this isn't programming this is just comments to let us know you know programmers typically use this to explain what the code is doing who wrote it when they wrote it etc another green you'll notice is if you just do two slashes that also starts a comment and anything that's not green is code okay so let's start since we've already plugged in our Arduino by downloading this code to our Arduino by clicking Run on Arduino. It'll take a couple seconds and then you should see Upload Successful. Okay, now let's look at what this program does. It's very easy, it only has two lines. The first line, serial.begin 9600. Anytime we do serial communications, the, we need to indicate a baud rate or the speed at which data is going back and forth. Since the Arduino is sending and receiving data and our computer is on the other end, both the computer and the Arduino need to decide ahead of time what baud rate are we going to use and they both need to use the same baud rate. So this line initializes serial communication at 9600 baud and the next line simply prints hello world. Now there's a couple different serial commands, but the basics are serial.print, prints exactly what you tell it to print. In this case, we're using print line, print ln. What that does is print the message and follows it with a carriage return. So in a serial monitor, we'll see hello world, and then it'll go to the next line. Okay, now, did it work? I don't know. Um, since nothing is visible on the Arduino, we don't have any sensors like LCD screens or LEDs. We need to monitor this through the serial monitor, which you can access on here. Click to open the serial monitor. So the serial monitor, like I said, we need to specify a port and a speed. The port is whatever serial port your computer assigned when you plugged in the Arduino. In my case, I have nothing else plugged in but the Arduino, and I only have one choice, um, which is COM10. And the speed, these are common choices. I'm going to choose 9600 because that's what I'm using in my code, and click Connect. Also, when you click Connect, it causes the Arduino to restart. So simply by connecting, it's going to restart this code, open the serial port at 9600, and if all goes well, we'll see Hello World. success. Now if I go back to my board, I'm going to click the little reset button. Clicking reset will restart the program and we'll see Hello World a second time. 
serial I.O. is used most often when you're trying to do something a little more tricky and it's not working right. Say you're trying to read from a sensor and display it on a screen and nothing's displaying. So you can put these serial.print or serial.println throughout your program maybe to say, hello, I made it to line 4 or hello, I made it to line 20. Then in the serial monitor you can tell, oh, my code got here but it didn't get here, something went wrong in between. So now that we're going to close this example and take a look at the second example. Okay, the first example we simply printed hello world. In this example we're going to show how we can print data while it's running. As we explained before, or as I explained before, all Arduino programs consist of two main required blocks. There's the setup block which runs once at the beginning, followed by the loop structure that uh, loops. It goes over and over and over forever. Um, so in this example, we're going to start by opening the serial port at 9600 baud and printing Hello World as far as in the setup routine. Then it's going to kick into the loop where we're going to introduce a variable i. Um, at the top, we've declared int i equals zero. What this does is it declares a variable, something we can use to hold a value. By saying int, we mean it's going to hold an integer value. Minus 1, minus 100, plus 4, plus 12. Integers are just numbers without decimal places, but not what we call strings. A string would be hello, or the letter A. So we're going to initialize this to 0. And in the loop, see here we're going to use serial print, not print line. Serial print i equals will print i equals to the serial port, but not move the cursor to the next line. Then we're going to print the value of i and go to the next line. So we should see i equals 0 and then the new line. This says i equals i plus 1. So what that's doing is whatever the current value is, say 0, it says i is going to be the current value 0 plus 1. That'll put 1. The next time through the loop, it'll become 2 and 3 and 4, etc. Finally, this line says delay 1000. The delay function does just that. It delays. And whatever number of milliseconds you put in the parentheses. In this case, we're going to delay 1000 milliseconds or 1 second. If we didn't put the delay, it would just loop really, really fast and we, it would just start throwing numbers to the serial port. Um, so, let's start. We're going to disconnect. Click Run on Arduino to send the code into the Arduino. If all goes well, we should see Upload Successful. Let me scroll down. Now, like I said before, when I click Connect, it's going to cause the Arduino to reboot. So it's going to start over. It's going to set I equal to zero, run setup, open the serial port at 9600, say hello world, then kick into the loop and we should see i equals 0. One second later, i equals 1. One second later, i equals 2, etc. Well, here goes. As we can see, we immediately got the hello world, followed by every second, the value of i is changing. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please take a look at the appropriate forum on the website or feel free to send me an email. Thanks again.